My name is Eric Walkinshaw. I'm the uh, project manager, civil engineer here at Mount Rainier National Park. And we're at the Carbon River entrance area. And we're involved in a project of installing about five uh, log constructed flood protection structures. So it protects the entrance station to the park and uh, some other facilities here in the park. We hired the uh, consultant to come in and they did the design work for us for these structures last October of 2010. And now we uh, actually have a contractor on board, uh, Mike McClune and Company, a construction company, and they're constructing these structures for us. And uh, Kurt's here to kind of oversee that part of the project to make some adjustments if they're needed on the, on the structure. So, uh, yeah, I'm Kurt Hansen, um, engineer and geologist with Cardinal Entrix. I'm excited to be a uh, part of uh, what I think is a historic um, project. Uh, uh, engineered log jams have been around in uh, ecologic and bank protection, flood protection systems for um, going on probably, probably close to 20 years, more likely 15. And uh, this is the first project where an engineered log jam has been installed inside of a national park. We, uh, like I said, we're, we're constructing um, a total of about five, five of these structures, one of which is called an uh, engineered log jam, which is a it's a more beefier structure, and that's on the leading edge of uh, just upstream, about a uh, hundred yards from us. It's basically to calm the water, to have some habitat, but also in calming the water, it, it drops out material that the, the river's carrying, mostly rock and, and uh, silt. And so by doing that, it kind of builds up that area. So when the river floods again, it forces it over more to the center of the channel and away from our banks. So, so that's, that's the intent of that. But we had the advantage in this area of having natural log jam, which is kind of what you see back behind us. There's another one further down where the contractor is currently working. So the Entrex designed these, these linear structures as kind of fences on either side of those to kind of contain that. We, what, what they didn't want to have happen, what we don't want to have happen is for those natural log jams to raise up and float and, and, and leave, because they're in a good location that's protecting our facilities, but they needed the added help of putting in these structures to kind of encapsulate it so it, it doesn't float away. To reinforce yeah, the, reinforced. Exist, the existing yeah. log jams. The first thing that the uh, contractor is taking care of is groundwater, and McLoon has done an absolutely fantastic job of maintaining their dewatering systems, and that involves a, an initial excavation to a depth below the bottom of the structure. Typically, these initial excavations extend 17, 18 feet below the ground surface to create a sump. From that point, that the uh, groundwater is pumped into a sedimentation system where fine sediments are dropped out before being returned to the river. The general, um, on this particular project, the general depth to the bottom of our excavation is about 15 feet, and that's where these vertical piles you can see right behind me, that's the elevation that those are um, installed to, uh, 15 feet below the ground surface. Uh, this pile here is actually, so it's probably about five and a half feet tall from where I'm standing. This is actually a 20, over 25 foot pile. And so there's about 20 feet of, uh, of log buried beneath my feet right here. So following the, the installation of the vertical piles, there's an angled log that extends, that's, that log is about 35 feet long, extending back into the earth, also excavated to a depth of about 15 feet below existing pre-construction ground surface. Following the installation of those, other horizontal members are added, um, racking material out front to help control scour and also create fish habitat is installed and final site grading completed. This is an innovative design, designed to uh, catch additional woody debris coming down the channel and creating additional habitat and providing additional um, stability to the existing park structure and park entrance. Basically all of our rivers are a lot like this. <laughs> we're, we're having problems in other areas as far as getting a lot of deposition, getting the river bed higher than our facilities and dealing with levees, dealing, we're gonna, we're gonna be installing, a, especially on, hopefully on the success of these, which I'm, I'm really confident that these are going to, I mean, they're pretty beefy structures. I think they're going to do the trick. And so we're going to use them a lot. This is just the, really the first, as Kurt mentioned, this is really the first location that we've done it in earnest, and this, these many structures. So we're really going to be watching this and seeing how it, how it performs. 
and i'm sure we're going to use it in a lot of other locations. so